This is Megan, a stunning 52 feet traditional style narrowboat built in 1998 by R&D Fabrications. She was originally fitted out by Witham Narrowboats. One owner since new and they've looked after her so well. She was repainted in 2015. She's just been blacked and serviced in September 2017. And she's been really well looked after. The floor's new, the kitchen's new. There was a cratch cover but the owner bringing her down from Peterborough broke a zip and being as he is, he said that's not good enough. So he's taken the cratch cover back to re-proof and replace the zip. The gas locker's in the forward bows there. These well deck lockers have storage underneath. There's a little teak table for our fresco dining. And into the boat we go, she's beautiful. Lined out in oak, above the gunnels and the ceilings and the floor and below the gunnels is carpet. Sitting room is just over 11 feet long. Two lovely swivel armchairs, a footstool. One of those armchairs has an extending footrest. The stove's an unusual colour and it's really charming. That's a Stovax Brunel. Storage cupboard here. There's my camera bag. And there's good shelves just to the left of the cupboard. The stereo CD system is installed there. Lots of space in this room to do with as you will. We'll just turn around and have another look. Really light and airy, the windows are large. Lovely condition. A couple of breakfast bar areas at the end here. You could probably play shove the hate me down there. If it took your fancy. This kitchen's new, soft closed doors. Fascinated by the physics behind those, which I don't understand. But plenty of storage in here, and there's a lovely large side hatch with a hatch to the roof as well. White tiles in here, it really works, I think. All feels very clean. There's the 12 volt shoreline fridge. And cupboards under the stainless steel sink, which has the draining board facing the right way, I'm pleased to see. There's the washer dryer, that's as a new seat. The cooking facilities are next to that. Full burner gas hob, oven and grill. The hobs are Bosch and the oven is a Bomatic. Lovely walkthrough kitchen, lots of prep space, lots of storage space, lots of light, all very neat. So we go, the bathroom's just down here on the port side of the boat. I'm just showing you this door. The bathroom itself doesn't have a door. This door becomes a bathroom door when you wish to use the facilities and this one also. So you shut those doors and you have, in effect, a walkthrough bathroom with all the space that comes with it. Lovely room, the loo is a Dometic cassette. There's three cassettes on board. The shower is tiled with a curtain. Mixer taps. It's good storage space to the side for your linen. Or pet hamster, whatever you choose. And the sink in here is ceramic. Three radiators on board. They are heated by the Eber Spacker, a diesel fired system. And into the bedroom. The bed's six foot three long by four feet wide. Plenty of storage underneath. Another radiator in here. Some shelves over the bed. At the foot of the bed is a really good sized wardrobe. A little cupboard here with filters and bits and pieces in. The windows in here are portholes. They open as well, they've got hopper openers. Just a bit of added privacy with smaller windows. There is an intruder alarm system on this boat, infrared. The chlorophyll under the bed there actually is brand new. 400 pounds worth, and there we go. Good sized bedroom, nine feet, 11 inches long. Now we go into the stern cabin. The nanny engine's under here, it's very easily accessible. 
regularly maintained. There's the Victron 3 kilowatt inverter. And the various fuse switches, what have you, next to those. Little step there for when you're at the helm, if you're my height, it's quite useful actually. There we go, there's the view from the helmsman's position without the step. And that is Megan. Stunning boat, beautifully looked after and maintained. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to rugbyboats.co.uk.